Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Well, I'm not home right now to be doing a fireside chat, so um, you got to do what you got to do where you can do it. Um, it's kind of late. I'm still reeling from the loss that was yet another Dallas Cowboy failure. And it sucks. That's all I can really say is it sucks. Um, today was interesting because having not one, but two Eagle fans that came up to me and they're like, hey, I know who you are. And I'm like, okay, and you're Eagle fans, right? And they're like, yeah, you know, but they were cool. They didn't actually rub my face into the fact that we lost, that we choked against the 49ers. And in actual, I'm beginning to believe guys like Philadelphia because they're like, man, we're sad that you lost because they wanted to be the ones, of course, to put us through misery. I can understand that. But, and, you know, the crazy thing is, is, and maybe the world can take a lesson from those two guys right there, that we can be having a difference of opinion and still be cordial. I can't stand the Eagles. We all know that. And I'm sure they can't stand the Cowboys. And I've had many, many people that say, I really respect you and I like what you're doing. I don't like the Cowboys, but I like you. And that's okay. That's actually a good thing that we don't have to hate people. You know what I mean? We can have a difference of opinion and still be cool. Interesting thing. Stephen Jones and Jerry Jones canceled their shows. Now, I've always thought that Jerry Jones has never, ever passed up an opportunity to talk to the media, to get that one-liner in, you know, talking about them glory holes or, you know, the, the smart man. <laughs> if he's in a car wreck, he understands his anatomy. You know, if his hand gets severed, the smart man understands to take his shirt and tie it around his hand and with the other hand call 911. But the idiotic man, <laughs> you know, he goes take it off through the woods and he bleeds to death. And you're left like, what? Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones did not do their usual shows. Why, pray tell? Now, Last year, they allegedly didn't do it because they were trying to save and keep Dan Quinn here. Some people speculate that they're contemplating getting rid of Mike McCarthy. Maybe, maybe they're just embarrassed. I don't know what it is, but I, I hope actually it is that they feel bad, that they feel like we do. I wish I had, um, I was just a little too tired today. It's been a long day. I'll um, set my computer up in the morning and do it. But we've all pointed the finger. You know, you, you look at Twitter that, you know, damn the torpedoes and the salary cap. Let's just get rid of Dak. We've all gone after Dak Prescott. He had a terrible game. But sometimes we got to look. Not as the outcome. But in order to fix like an illness. You don't deal with the symptoms. You have to deal with the root of the cause. And the Cowboys, just think back. 
Come on now. Your memory's not that short, is it? Think back to how you felt last year during the free agency. When you heard that guys like Von Miller, hey, I'd like to come for the Cowboys. Guys like Bobby Wagner. And they didn't even talk to him. Remember how you felt when you heard during the draft the Eagles were wheeling and dealing and even though they messed up with Carson Wentz, they turned it into a positive and here it was, they were moving up in the draft to get a player that they thought was going to be a difference maker. And at the same time, making a trade for a wide receiver that was a difference maker. And here we are at the Cowboys. You remember when they traded Amari Cooper and we found out we got a fifth round draft pick? Remember how you felt right then? All of these moves and things have been swept under the rug. And now we're pointing the finger at Dak Prescott. Come on, people. Come on. You deserve better. I deserve better. I hope that the Joneses are rethinking their philosophy. Because time is short. It really is. But, hmm. I guarantee you we're all like the Green Mile. I'm tired, boss. I'm real tired. Well, the off season's here. It's never too late to change. And, uh, we're going to find out real quick if anything's changed because franchise tagging starts in about a month. Actually, less than a month. Free agency starts in about a month and a half. We'll see what we're going to see. I'm Mark Holmes and well. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.